Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking a closer look at an Eon Steel Black. So this is an upgraded version of the Eon Steel. They've tweaked it, they've uh, sort of added a few extra features into it. The main one being a dual algorithm or customizable algorithm. You can choose between Suunto's fused RGBM2, the upgraded RGBM uh, algorithm, or a Buhlmann 16 compartment uh, algorithm on the inside. With that one, you have gradient factors as well that gives you better control of your decompression uh, profile everything on the inside of here from air nitrox trimix uh ccr rebreather mode on the inside fixed point rebreather mode um gauge mode if you just want to use it as a uh, depth and deprecation timer um you can connect this to uh, to wireless tank pods as well so you get that wireless air connectivity you can see how much gas you have left in your tank you can also see how long that's going to last based on your breathing rate and your depth very, very clever piece of kit. Let's see how it arrives on your front doorstep. So this is how it arrives, packaged differently to the um, to the traditional Eon Steel, just the uh, the brushed steel version. Um, this one has a uh, an actual separate EVA case, which is quite nice, and then a little section underneath. Uh, so I'm going to do my best to dissect this. Uh, actually, we'll take a look at the outside first. So customizable features, multiple dive algorithms. That's one of the main points of the Eon Steel Black compared to its predecessor. You have the two different uh, algorithms from the uh, the Fuse 2 RGBM to the uh, the Buhlmann multi-gas diving wireless tank pressure uh, long battery life uh, wireless mobile connection that's quite a nice feature in that you can connect it to the Sunto app and then that can connect to other apps uh, that are going forwards so you can download your data and all that kind of stuff which is quite smart um, 150 meters maximum depth, uh, it weighs 347 grams, up to 40 hours battery um, sort of dive time, which is quite nice. And then because it's a rechargeable sort of inbuilt battery, you can top it up as you need to in between dives. Instead of looking at your dive computer before dive two or three and thinking, mm, should I change the battery and waste whatever's left in that battery? With the steel black, you just plug it in and top it up um, by USB cable. Um, okay, actually getting into it. So remove this little tab and then the one on the other side. And then it slides out, so you get that little collar. Um, there's some information on that. You've got your serial number on it as well, so that's quite handy to, uh, to keep hold of. Um, and then we have quite a nice EVA case you've got Sunto um, sort of subtle logo on the top there um, double zipper and a, a little attachment point as well we'll take a look at see what's inside that in a minute because uh, there's there's weight to this lower section um, lifting that up okay so we have a few booklets the first one is probably a how-to guide customer support numbers um, just information in a few different languages how to uh, how to use your dive computer the quick start guide uh, international limited warranty and safety and regulatory uh, information um, that's some very nice bedtime reading um, read through that if you can some cables and bits and bobs so USB recharging cable, plug that into a, a powered USB port, just like your phone charger and things nowadays, and that'll help to, uh, to top it up. But you can also use that to connect it to your PC and, uh, and download your dives via that. Also have a, a strap retainer. Um, I don't know whether that's a spare one or an extra one. And, uh, and this, these two sections, so this is so that you can fit a bungee strap to it. Um, you do get some bungee, that's like three mil bungee. Um, but if you don't want that traditional elastomer watch strap with a buckle and everything, you want a, a bungee strap, you get that as, a, uh, as an extra to, uh, to fit yourself if you want to. Pop those all back into that little box. And then we'll look at the main box itself. So yeah, Sunto, uh, we've looked at the outside on the inside of the box. 
you have. So this is the protective boot um, that you can use, but you don't have to. Um, and that is basically a, a huge scratch guard to, uh, to protect the, uh, the corners, covers up the buttons as well. You can still use it and uh, press them underneath it, but it just protects them. Um, little mesh section up in the lid. The dive computer itself, um, well, again, I'll take a closer look at that in a second. And then this section that you can remove. And then you have yourself a, a pretty decent size box that you can either use for the dive computer or whatever decent size box, uh, they're quite useful. And the attachment point means that you can clip it on the inside of your, your kit bag and, um, and sort of keep it strong and secure. So this is the, uh, the unit itself looks and feels very much like the uh, the previous version it's got a decent weight to it feels very strong it's well constructed um, you've got this nice brushed black steel finish to it the buttons are very much the same the screen again will be much the same but on the inside is where they've made a lot of the changes they've upgraded the uh, the software and the firmwares and things on the inside um, the strap itself, the buckle now has that blackened finish to it to, uh, to match the overall style. Uh, it does come with that strap retainer. Um, okay, so I'm gonna plug it in now and, uh, and switch it on, get it up and running, and then I'll show you the screen and how things work on the inside. So I've turned it on, I've given it a good charge and I've adjusted some of the settings. Um, nothing overly fancy, just said it's like metric and uh, I actually changed the brightness to high just to make it a little bit easier for you guys to see it. Um, but yeah, this is the display, uh, or at least this is one of the displays that you can have. Um, you can actually change between one of three different displays um, and sort of personalize it to your heart's content and have information wherever you want. Um, three button user interface, quite intuitive. It's basically select and back are in this central button, and then it's sort of up and down um, with those two buttons either side of them. So if you press that central button, You've got two little pips you can hopefully see down in the bottom, um, sort of in the middle. These are how many screens you have. You can have up to four screens. So you can have one for your compass, you can have one for your wireless air tank pressure, another one for your no decompression, and you can customize each of those and then cycle through them when you're actually on the dive. And um, and that way you can have your, your separate screens and you can customize it to your heart's content. Um, if I press it again, it will go back to the compass. I've only got two screens on this one. The bottom button is gonna cycle through some auxiliary information. Uh, so you can cycle through that. And then the top button is quite handy as a timer. You press that and it just starts a stopwatch. Uh, and you can see it ticking away down in this bottom corner and you can stop that at any time. So if you need to record anything whilst you're in the water, it's very quick and easy to, uh, to start a stopwatch. Going into the menus, um, if I hold down that central button, that goes into the menu structure. And then again, very intuitive to, uh, to navigate around. And um, so gases, uh, I've got a few already set up, but if I add new, if you scanned your, um, your gas mix and, uh, and you found it's 29%, um, no helium, just PPO2 of 1.4, select and there it is set up. And then you can go back. If so, if you tend to use a certain few nitrox mixes, you can set those up. If you go back to air, it's already set up. So you can very quickly and easily add new gases and go back to common gases. Hold that middle button now, and that goes back a step. Uh, so very quick and intuitive to, um, to navigate around. If you've used a, uh, a D5 or the Eon Steel or even the Eon Core, very similar button user interface, uh, so very quick and intuitive. And that's the Sunto Eon Steel Black Edition, an upgraded version of the Eon Steel. Um, very tried and tested dive computer um, all over the world. Um, lots of scuba divers have been using the Eon Steel and, uh, and this version is just a newer sort of upgraded version of it. Um, plenty of bits and bobs that you get with it, which are quite nice and fancy and customizable as well. You can get different strap options uh, sort of to uh, customize it to your heart's content. Now, this video could have been a lot longer, but there's a lot more information on our website, simplyscuba.com, that you can read up and check all the details. Um, just click on the link down in the description below so you can check it out and buy it from us at simplyscuba.com. Thank you for watching, everybody, and of course, safe diving. Mm -hmm.